So I wanted to make a little video on what it means to be a LuLaRoe consultant. So I have a list here of some questions that I get asked a lot. Um, one of the things that I wanted to talk about first that I really don't get asked a lot is the culture of LuLaRoe. So the reason I wanted to touch on this first is because that is like a huge integral part of what it means to be a consultant. So as a consultant, you're kind of expected to uphold that culture and be a part of something that's really just super positive and super uplifting to other women. So that's one of the things that, like if you go to a job interview and you know, the ball or the manager or whatever, when you're at the interview, they'll say, well, do you have any questions for me? And one of the things that generally you always ask, or I've always asked is, well, can you tell me about the culture here? So, um, surprisingly that's something that I don't get asked a lot so I did just want to touch on that to say that it is super positive it is super uplifting um, for consultants the customers you know that's part of your job is to uplift other women um, and that's one of my favorite things about the job so um, you know it's a very positive environment and it stems from the leadership at the very top and then it trickles all the way down through each level so um, you know, the owners, Mark and Deanne, they're, you know, they care about everyone. They really look after everyone. Um, if there's a problem, then they work very hard to fix it. They'll, you know, they listen to input from other people because they want to make sure at the end of the day that, you know, we're happy because, you know, for one, that's why they wanted to do this business is, you know, they wanted to make sure that there was, um, you know, that this could help touch other people's lives. So, um, you know, they're not, Obviously, they're making money doing it, but that's not their end game. Their end game was to help, you know, touch, you know, other women's lives like I touch theirs and to make sure that, you know, this is a viable option for um, for women in the future. They want to make sure that it's sustained, you know, long term. Um, they have plans, you know, to continue this for a really long time, you know, for their children and their grandchildren. You know, they're not looking to make, a, you know, a quick buck. They're looking to do this uh, really long term. So... That kind of touches on the culture a little bit. Um, the, the question I get asked first all the time, what is the investment? So that's one of those questions that it's kind of hard to say a number figure straight off the top of my head because it really depends. So as you start off, um, you buy into the company, you basically are buying a franchise. So you pay for 350 pieces plus um, to start off with. And the reason you start off with so many pieces is to really set you up for success. And at the time you think 350 is, oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount of clothes. Um, but it's not once you start, because um, if you walked into somewhere with 50 to 100, you know, because you think about you take um, every size and you, you have 10 of each size, you know, because you're going to have multiple, um, you know, sizes and for people. So 350 is not a crazy amount. Um, and what you're doing is once you buy that, you become a business owner. So um, you're not really buying, you know, a little starter kit or whatever. You're basically buying a boutique. Um, so that's one of the things that, you know, you have to keep in mind is 350 pieces, you're buying a franchise, you're buying your own business. So you'll buy it, you turn around and you resell it. So um, once you become your own business owner, you can work it how you want. So there's different strategies. So the two main, you know, outlets that people utilize usually are online or in home. So for the online, um, you'll worry about shipping, taking pictures, um, you kind of reach a broader audience that way. Um, it's a little bit more convenient for people. And then you have in-home, which you pack up your inventory, you take it, and then you have, you know, a little bit more personal interactions. People can try on things. So there's definitely pros and cons to both. Um, and if you decide that this is something that you're interested in, um, I do a little bit of both so I can kind of help you walk through what is, you know, the best strategy for you and your family. Um, and you know which one will best suit your lifestyle. So I got asked the shipping. So when I do online, um, at, before I started LuLaRoe, I had hardly really shipped anything. 
um, my husband now, he was in grad school in Missouri. So when we were kind of doing long distance, we would ship some things back and forth to each other, but it would be like one package. I'd go into the post office and that was about the extent of my shipping. So now that I'm shipping hundreds of things each month, um, I've learned, you know, really kind of how to learn to ship. So, um, and if you decide to do online, I've, I'm by no means like a super expert, but I've definitely learned, um, some ways and tips and tricks for how to, you know, go through. That's part of the reason for my Google form is to kind of expedite my shipping process so that I have all that information. I can put it into shipping labels. Um, I have a label printer and then I schedule pickups, um, with USPS so that they come to my house. So I do not have to go into the post office because, um, that would be a nightmare. So, um, I got asked about the minimum monthly quota. So to stay an active consultant, you have to purchase three or 33 pieces a month. Um, and that is so easy to do because, um, when I started, I asked the same question to my sponsor and she was like, you know, you can really sit at your house and sell that many pieces a month and never leave your house. Um, people will just come to your house and you'll be able to buy that, sell that much. So that's true. Um, it's really easy to do. Um, half of it you'll probably keep yourself. So, um, it's really easy to stay active in LuLaRoe. Um, some people, you know, purchase thousands of pieces a month. Um, some people purchase, you know, the bare minimum. It just depends on how you want to work your business, how active you are, how much you're selling. Um, and then I get asked, do I get to pick my prints? So no, I do not get to pick my prints. I pick my styles and I pick the sizes. So um, right behind me here, these are perfect tees. This is this is a small, so, um, you know, I get to say, like, I want four medium perfect tees, or I want, um, or four small, and then three medium, and two large, or whatever, and then they send me the prints, and that's fine, because I promise you, I sell some things to y'all that I do not love, so, and that's not really the point. The point is that it doesn't matter that I love it, someone loves it. That's why there's such a broad variety, um, there's something for everybody. And if I got to pick, then it would only be my style and I wouldn't really be able to cater to the other people's styles. Um, so it's, and it's fun. It's fun for me when I get boxes because I have no idea what's in it either. And I get to see it's like Christmas every time I get a box, um, what prints are in there, what, you know, and then it's like, oh man, it's not in my size. So that's good because then, you know, as consultants, we also shop other consultants too, because, um, you know, everyone has different things. So then I get asked, oh my gosh, I'm buying 350 pieces. Where am I going to keep it? Um, all I can really say to that is where there's a will, there's a way. So I have my own uh, spare bedroom here. So um, this was a bedroom. It had a bed in it at one time, but um, that quickly got taken out. So now it's just a, a Lula room. So some people have set it up in their dining room. Some people have them set up in, you know, garages or uh, basements. Some people have trailers. Some people have buses. And then some people just have it packed up in closets. They keep them in their bags and they keep them, you know, in dressers or uh, drawers. They keep them in storage totes stacked on top of each other. Um, some people just have them tucked away in a corner of their house. Um, spare closets, you know, they have them in all different places in their house. So I promise you if it can fit into a Mazda 6, a thousand pieces, then it can fit really a lot of places. So, you know, you kind of do what you want with it. Um, you can put it different places. You can pack it up, you know, and only unpack it when you get ready to take it places. Um, you know, we're women, we're used to figuring out how to make you know, a bunch of stuff fit in tiny spaces. So, um, if you want to do it, there's where there's a will, there's a way. And that's kind of, you know, my answer to that. So profit potential, that's one of the things, how much money am I going to make doing this? And I will say that also depends. So, you know, when I started, my goal was I'd like to make, you know, an extra $200 a month to help with, you know, bills, um, to help with some things. I can go ahead and say that I far surpassed that, um, that goal for myself. Um, and you know, there you can do it what you want with it. So if you really just kind of want to work it part time, you know, every now and then do something, you know, to make this much, um, you want to work it full time. You want to, you know, really work hard at it and go hard. Um, I'd say there's a range. I, there's people that I know that are making $75,000 a month 
you know, doing this. And then there's people, you know, that are really not doing a whole lot with it. And it just depends on your lifestyle, how much time you have, your commitment to it. Um, there's, you know, tons of women that I know that do it full time. Um, my sponsor, she does it full time and her husband actually was just able to leave his job and help um, her do it full time. So there's definitely a lot of potential with it because it's still so new. Um, so that's, you know, I can tell you my, my dollar figures and tell you if you're interested, you know, how much am I personally making? Um, I don't know if I necessarily want to say it on a video, but um, I'm very open about that if you have questions of how much money I'm making doing this. So, and then team building. So, um, this is, this kind of goes along with the profit potential. So if you decide you want to build a team and if you, then there's obviously a little bit more profit associated with that. If you decide you do not want to build a team because you don't have the time, you don't want to manage a team, that's fine. Um, there's obviously a little more income, but it's a lot more work to work with a team. Um, so, you know, there is extra incentives for building teams. Um, and then that kind of goes with the next question, is it a pyramid scheme? No, it's not a pyramid scheme. Nobody's robbing Peter to pay Paul over here. So, um, you know, that's illegal. You can't do that. So every, when I get my bonus checks for building a team, I get paid, LuLaRoe pays that on top of um, whatever is paid to um, other consultants. So I, that's not coming out of, you know, Sally's paycheck to come to me, that's coming and paid on top of LuLaRoe and that the LuLaRoe operates completely debt free. So um, that's factored into the equation every month for paying bonus checks. Um, so definitely building a team, um, a lot more work, a lot more income potential. Um, I will say some of the, the most successful people in LuLaRoe do, do build teams. So, um, but if you don't have the time, or the commitment that you want to do it, then that's perfectly fine too. You can still make plenty of money doing sales. Um, and then, so that goes along with the next question, how much time does it take? And I'll say that also depends. So a lot of my answers are kind of murky because it depends what you want to do with it. So um, how much time does it take? Well, I would say to be successful, you really need to do something every day. Um, whether that be post a little picture or, you know, count something in your inventory or do something every day. Um, if you want to work it full time, then you can work it full time. If you want to, you know, work it part time, that's fine too. But, you know, it, I would say it can range anywhere, you know, from, you know, if you work it every day, you do a little something every, an hour, you know, seven hours a week to, you know, working it crazy amount. So it just depends how hard you want to, you know, work to get to your end goal. So if your goal is to do this full time, um, or you're doing it full time, you're obviously going to put a lot more hours into it. Um, so, um, I will say, I don't want anyone to be surprised going into it about the time. So in the very beginning, it definitely takes a lot more time. Um, then maybe a little bit later down the road, just like any startup business, you're going to have to invest and put a lot of, you know, energy into getting something rolling straight up off the ground to get to where you want it to be. Um, and then this question I get asked all the time is the oversaturation. So is LuLaRoe saturated? Am I going to be able to make money? You know, how am I going to make money? Everyone is selling it now. Um, I will say no. Um, Lulero is not oversaturated. So right now there's around 11,000 consultants um, compared to other direct sales that have, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions. Um, the reason that people think it's oversaturated is because it's new and people are picking up on the excitement of it. So they're like, oh my gosh, you know, I, um, I went to a pop-up and I had so much fun. So then they come home, they research, and then they're finding a million Facebook groups to join. And then they're stalking all these pages all the time. Um, and that's why people think it's oversaturated. Um, there are, I'm in Fuquay. There are tons of people in Fuquay. There are tons of people in Raleigh. But I've never, you know, for the most part, I have some people that say, oh, well, I bought this from so-and-so. Or, oh, I bought this and so-and-so. But I go to pop-ups all the time and people have never even heard of Lularoe. 
So, um, and those are my favorite, favorite people to break into it. So there's people everywhere. You go out into, you know, a public place and I look around and I see tons of people that are not wearing LuLaRoe or, um, you know, and so they haven't even heard, you know, it's not like if I go into a public place and I saw, you know, 20 people wearing Lula, I think, okay, well, it's getting kind of saturated. It's everywhere, but I don't really see a lot of people wearing Lula because, you know, they haven't heard of it or, um, and so that's one of the things, um, there's still plenty of room for growth. And so, one of the things too is I don't have to worry about it because if my neighbor next door decided to start selling, um, shout out to Christy if you want to start selling. So we would have completely different things. So, and every, you know, consultant has a different customer base. So she's going to have different friends than I have, you know, friends and family, and I'm going to have different people. Um, we're going to have some of the same people, you know, and that's fine because no one is, forcing you to only buy from one person. So I have people, like I said, that shop multiple people and that's fine because we all carry different things. No one's having to make a choice like, oh, I have two friends that sell this. Who do I buy from? It's like, okay, well they can buy this shirt from me and they can buy those leggings from her and that's fine. They help, you know, support both of us. So, um, since we have different things, you know, we can trade, um, and, you know, in our area, there are people that, you know, have never heard of it. I'll go places all the time and people say, oh, I like your shirt. I'm like, oh, thanks. Have you heard of Lula? And they're like, no. So, um, that's fine because then I get to tell them a little bit about the business, what it is. Um, and then there's still plenty of places in the country that have never even heard of it. Um, and that, uh, you know, there's not anyone in their area. So there's lots of room for growth. Um, so no, it's really not oversaturated. Um, that's the short answer for that. Um, statistically, you know, 11,000 is nothing. So, um, it's, it's still considered ground zero here. Um, so now is like the perfect time to get into it. When I started, there were, I think 3,500 people. Um, so, and I just to see how much it's grown in that short amount of time, um, in five months is crazy because, um, you know, just seeing the excitement for it and how much it's grown um, have been really good. So um, if you have any other questions, um, just feel free to ask me. The main takeaways, um, what it means to be a consultant is you're a part of a, a sisterhood, um, essentially. So you're a part of um, helping other women, being a part, making women, you know, feel confident and happy and happy in what they wear. Um, you're a part of you know, helping each other as far as you meet new friends. Um, I've met friends, um, you know, that <clears throat> are part of the bigger team and, you know, now women that I have on, on my direct team that I just love. And I'm so happy that I have, um, made new friends through this process. Um, and you know, so fun friends and you get first dibs at clothes. So every box that comes, um, you might not see some of the best prints I have because they're probably in my closet. So, um, that's one of the things that I love about it is I get first dibs too. So, um, if you have any questions, then just feel free to send me a message or ask me. Um, I am super open to talking about it. I love to talk about Lularo. Um, and I am very honest, kind of genuine person. So I'll definitely tell you the cons. If you want to ask me, tell me what you don't like about it. Tell me, you know, tell me the cons about Lularo and I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the cons are. Um, I'll definitely tell you the pros because I think there's more pros than cons obviously um, but I have you know a ton of information I can also send you so if you're interested um, in learning about it then just let me know um, it's a really good opportunity um, for you know if you want to do something part-time with it you want to do something full-time uh, you want to do online you want to do in-home you want to make new friends you want to you know uh, get first dibs at clothes, you know, whatever your goal is or whatever you want to do with it. Um, that's part of the, the beauty of it is that you can do whatever you want with it because it's your business. So have any questions, just let me know. Thanks guys. Bye.